Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a very special video. Today is my 50,000 subscriber special. Um, if you guys remember, about a year or two ago, I said, when I reach 50,000 subscribers, I will give you guys my WWE room tour that you have all been waiting for. And guys, that day is finally here. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry it took so long for it to happen, but like I said, it's going to be very well worth it. Now, before I get into the room tour, I just want to say a few things real quick, um, if you don't mind, guys, because, you know, 50,000 is a big deal, so I would like to tell you guys a little something. Um, just thank you to everyone who has supported my channel along the way. Um, I've had so many supporters that have stuck by me, even when I was in the hospital sick, um, or if I was home and I was just too sick to be able to film, you guys stuck by my channel, and you guys, um, continue to support me. Like, it's crazy. Four years ago, I got on here to start a YouTube channel, obviously. I was just killed with cancer, you know, couldn't go to school, so I wanted something to do, and so I made a YouTube channel, and now I'm sitting here thanking you guys for 50,000 subscribers, which is, blows my mind. Um, it's crazy to me. So before I start the room tour, I just want to say one more thing. I want to say thank you to my mom for actually helping me do the room because she was a big part of this room, as you're going to find out right after I do, right after this, I'm going to play a little clips of us doing my room over the past few months. Um, and so thank you to my mom. Um, without my mom, this room wouldn't be done, honestly. And then thank you to my dad to putting up my frames that you see over here. Um, and then also thank you to uh, Vince Martinez, my best friend, for always being there for me when I'm going through this YouTube stuff. And just thank you for always being a supporter of mine and always being there when I needed someone to talk to. And um, yeah, so with that being said, guys, um, I'm going to play the little montage of us working on this room. So thank you guys for 50,000 subscribers. Guys, I'm stressing. I can't find one of my pops. Alright guys, so now it is a time that all 50,000 of you have been waiting for, or like 50,100 or 200, have been waiting for. It is my room tour. 
<laughs> like I said, I have put a lot of work into this room. Um, but you already heard that whole sappy speech earlier. So with that being said, let me finally show you my room. All right, guys. So this is just like the front of my room. Nothing too wild over here. And so let's open the door. And here is my room. Yes, I know. First thing you're probably going to think, you have a lot of figures. Yes, I do. So let's start, I guess, from the door. Let me just close the door real quick. So first on this wall, we have all my photos. Like, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, of my, uh, like, plaques and signed stuff, like, those things. And then one of my most prized possessions, John Cena granted my Make-A-Wish, where he signed it saying it was my pleasure. Then I have some 8x10s on the side there. And then here I have some figures that didn't fit on the other wall. So I have some space for a few more. And then the behind my door I have a dry erase board with a John Cena magnet that one of, my, well, one of you guys sent me. And then behind the door that you see in all my videos uh, is my 8x10s. So I'm just going to kind of just go down so you guys can see them. And then um, next we have nothing too fancy, but you know, I just have my bathroom in here. I don't even shower in this bathroom anyways. Um, I use my parents' bathroom because it's bigger. And then going to here, here's my desk where I do all my editing and whatnot. So here, you know, assault and battery style, we have my uh, WrestleMania bears, and then I have my Mac. This is not the computer I edit on, I have a laptop. And then I have my cell phone, as you see, with my nephews and my, and Elliot, my, who's like my nephew, and all them. And then over here, we have uh, my signed card collection, some like a piggy bank and an m, m dispenser my parents got me in Vegas. And then here, we have my little shelves. So on this side, the, well as you see, the bottom shelf is for wrestling and the top shelf is Disney. So over here, we have my WWE snow globe. And then we have a, I have a little New Orleans uh, snow globe because my girlfriend and I collect snow globes when we go travel. And then here we have the Eddie Guerrero figure from the WWE shop. And then we have the skull, really cool skull, from WrestleMania last year. And then I have all, not all the rest, I'm missing some, but these are all the pay-per-views I've been to. I'm missing Royal Rumble and WrestleMania 33 and 34. And then here I have my piggy banks. I have my Shield piggy bank and I have my Make-A-Wish John Cena piggy bank and my Make-A-Wish John Cena teddy bear. And then going up, I this shelf, I need to get more stuff to put it in. But this right here, I just got it recently. It's an exclusive key for Mickey's 90th birthday. So you had to be one of the first 90 people at your Disney store to get it. And then over here, I have my uh, my Buzz Lightyear hat that they gave me for free to celebrate two years of cancer free at Disneyland when I went in June. And then this was like an exclusive cup um, for Pixar Fest. It's Woody's boot. And then this spot right here is being saved for something I'm hopefully going to get for Christmas. And then going all the way up, you see... My uh, Disney, mixture of Disney and like just random like Funkos. So it goes all the way up to there and there's actually more to add, surprisingly enough. And then below my desk is, you guys know I have a cat named Sassy, as you saw earlier. That's her bed. And then I have my fan mail stuff. I keep all my fan mail letters in there and my trash can. And then going here... I have some of my pay-per-view, well no these aren't pay-per-view chairs, these are like VIP chairs and ringside chairs and stuff like that. And then when you look here, it's obviously my bed. So um, let's go over here first I guess. So this is where I usually like film as you guys know, so I usually put my tripod here. But going all the way up, there's a lot of my figures. Keep going, keep going. And yeah, so you go across and I'll show you more over there when I get over there. But yeah, I still have a lot of figures that I can't put on the wall because there's no space. And then on my bed, I have two Lion King um, uh, pillow pads because I got one from my Make-A-Wish. And then my brother brought me one from Disneyland when he went. And then we have a pizza cat because, you know, I love cats and I love pizza. And then we have the Mickey Mouse I got from Disneyland when I went in June. And then going on this side is my very first 
wrestling item I ever got. It was my little Rey Mysterio teddy bear. And then, obviously here, I forgot to mention, um, that's the shirt John Cena gave me during my Make-A-Wish. He threw it to me, and then at the end of the show, he came up to me and handed me that armband. And then, this is the stuff that he gave me when I was actually sitting down with him, and he signed all of it. A shirt, a hat, um, a foam finger, and a bag. And then, here, hopefully the light's not too harsh, but has all my figures going up. Keep going, all the way up there. And then right here on my nightstand, I have my Becky Lynch hat with the sign goggles and the ropes from WrestleMania. And then, you know, in here I just have some random stuff like, you know, some treats and stuff. And then in here I have my wrestling DVDs and in this one too and games. And let's see what else. On this wall, I have some figures. And then obviously out here is my outside view. Let's see if I can show you guys a little. Yeah, that's what it looks like from my outside of my room. And then something else I have to show you guys. Above my window are all my Disney Pops. Not all of them actually. These are just some of them. A lot of them are in another room right now. Because I ran out of space in here. And then we're going to go to this wall right above my closet. It's all my classic figures as you can see. Just all out there. And then turn on my light to my closet. And, you know, it's just a closet where I keep my shoes, my clothes, my Mickey Mouses that I wake up for at 2 in the morning and go sit outside the Disney store. Um, you know, just some boxes up there for my Beats and my PlayStation and stuff. Some stuffed animals that are sentimental. Um, just some books, my DVDs, my cards. I collect baseballs. If you guys didn't know that, I'm actually missing a baseball from Universal that I uh, can't find right now. And then I have some board games and stuff, and my hats, and then um, just a bunch of posters and stuff. And then, of course, my slippers. As you see, my Pikachu slippers. I love Pokemon. And then down there is just some boxes. And then on the back of my closet, uh, as I told you guys, I ran out of space for my plaque, so I had to put some back here. So Naya and uh, Cena. And on the back of my door, yes, my small more hat. And then I have some other Spurs hats, Pokemon hats, and my fan mail bag. And then here I have, like, you know, my WrestleMania necklaces and some other necklaces. And then now that we're out of my closet, um, we have my section here with my packages for when I do unboxings. That's where I kind of keep them until I do the unboxing. I have some Pokemon stuff animals. I have my belts right there. I have my monk, my John Cena monkey, uh, the ringsider plaque when I went with my brother. We sat front row at SmackDown. Um, and then we have my PlayStation. When I add me on PlayStation 4, my username is MissWWEFan13. I add everybody. It might take me a while, but I do add everybody. Uh, some of my, my epic moments. Um, and then here I have my Disney stuffed animals. If you guys don't know, I love Disney. And um, my other belts. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys, the last part to my room, is my shelf above my TV. And this is where I keep all my favorite items, pretty much. So, from left to right, as you see at the very top, they're all Funkos. And then I have, like, my, um, th the first row I have some, I forgot what those figures were called. But, um, yeah, those, I think, I think they're called, def oh, I can't remember what they're called. Those boxes right there. And then I have my Defining Moments going all across. And then some of the ones that play music. And then the second row, I have my Money in the Bank, my Becky belt, my old NXT women's belt, the Spinner belt, the New Day belt, the Universal title, and the um, Money in the Bank. And then, like I said, at the very top, all my Funkos. And I actually just pre-ordered my Ronda Rousey pop. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. And I apologize again for taking so long to get it up. Um, but I, I hope it was worth it to you guys, worth the wait. Um, and just thank you guys for 50,000 subscribers. Like, I can't even process that I, I have that many subscribers. You know, I started YouTube when I was about 9 or 10, and I couldn't even get more than 100 views. And then years went on, I tried again, and I still couldn't get more than 100 views. And, you know, one day when I got sick, I was bored in, literally in this room, Nothing to do, I couldn't go to school, I couldn't play softball anymore. And I just told my mom, I want to make videos again. And she said, alright, go for it. 
um, and I started and now I have 50,000 and again I just want to emphasize if I should be thinking anybody right now besides you guys of course it is my mom um, everyone thought my videos were stupid um, I had an ex-girlfriend who I will not name always told me that th this was gonna be nothing that this would be stupid and my mom was always telling me no you keep doing it she bought me this camera that I have she buys me these figures some of the figures she buys and she would take me to Wrestlemania and none of this would be possible without my mom in the beginning like since the very beginning because she kept telling me to do it even though people were pretty much harassing me on the internet leaving me mean comments telling me that they hope cancer kills me and then people in my real life my family some of my family telling me that this is stupid to do and that it's pointless and so just comment down below thank you Miss Dark Man 13's mom however you want to put it um but yeah so it's just crazy and then also I just want to mention uh, if you guys have not already known this I do have a vlog channel if you guys have never checked it out it's called official k13 the link will be down below and I have a new channel called for the love of Disney if you guys don't know I love Disney as much as I love wrestling if you guys see around my room I do have a lot of Disney things I have more that I just can't display I love Disney I have I've loved Disney longer than I have loved wrestling um and so um, I'm, I opened a Disney related channel and so if you guys love Disney go check it out if you guys just want to support the channel because it's my channel go check it out the link is down below for the love of Disney there's no video on there yet but basically it's gonna be like this channel but for Disney I'm gonna be doing a boxings uh, pickup videos uh, I have a vlog coming up on the channel when my parents took me to Disneyland to celebrate Father's Day and being two years cancer free um, they I have the vlog that's gonna be for the channel and um, I'm gonna vlog when I go to Disneyland next October and anything Disney related I do I will vlog it and um, and or document it some way like I have unboxings coming up on that channel for Disney stuff and um, yeah so that's pretty much it guys um, thank you guys so much for 50,000 it means more to me and my mom than you guys could ever understand and um, yeah let's not get too sappy but uh, like I said guys thank you so much smash the thumbs up Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be the video of myself, my oldest nephew, Tyler, and I don't know if DJ is going to help or not, my other nephew, but we're going to be putting up my Christmas tree right here where my um, stuff, Disney stuff animals are. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is